This may look like a typical research lab, but the discoveries tested out here are in no way ordinary and may become a game changer in the fight against climate change. Yeah, this is the artificial leaf system. Researchers from the University of Illinois at Chicago have created a system that mimics a natural photosynthesis process of a plant. The team developed a catalyst that allows the system to absorb a heat-trapping greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, from the atmosphere and break it into a mix of carbon monoxide and hydrogen by using sunlight. That mix is called syngas and can be turned into transportation fuel. We have a solar cell. The scientist leading the research says the motivation came from the world's growing happen. energy demand, One projected to triple happen. by the end of the century. The solar energy is the largest and the only renewable and carbon neutral source of the energy that has a sufficient scale to replace fossil fuels. So if you can convert the energy of the sun to hydrocarbon and fuels, you can burn it anytime, anywhere, any place if needed. The technology is carbon neutral, meaning that even though cars that use this fuel will emit carbon, the artificial leaf will take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, thus producing no new emissions. Right now, one of the main strategies to replace oil and gas has focused on developing biofuels like corn ethanol. Scientists at Argonne National Laboratory in Illinois says the artificial leaf will go even further. With the artificial leaf, you eliminate the plant. So it goes directly from the sun to a biofuel. And that could, in principle, replace 100% of transportation fuels. But this is only a prototype that needs to be scaled up with infrastructure put in place. Some experts caution this could still be the biggest hurdle to adapting new energy sources in the United States. As long as gasoline prices remain relatively low, investing in new technologies may seem less attractive. Crabtree says for this technology to take off, the fuel created by researchers must achieve price parity with gasoline. Price competitiveness is the ultimate market uh, determiner. But both he and Salehi teams believe with the 25 percent of carbon emissions in the United States coming from the transportation sector, the artificial leaf could bring on an energy revolution. Rosie Kazan, Chicago.